So here in Pacific Northwest for salmon and stud fishing, uh, we use spinning reels, okay? And uh, very efficient, And but I'm sure you've seen, there's lots of videos on uh, YouTube where guys are talking about um, how to properly manage uh, a spinning reel so you don't get twists and things. And unfortunately, um, no matter how many times I emphasize this to folks in the boat, um, we still end up with line twist. And so here I am two weeks into a season and I'm respooling all of my Pluger Supremes uh, with new line because we've got line twists. This one uh, was so bad that it uh, ate up a bunch of line and I had to put that rod out of commission yesterday. So yeah, let's uh, get to it. One thing I will point out is I won't pull all of the line off. I'll pull a lot of it, uh, but I won't pull it all off because um, uh, we don't get that deep into the spool. So I'll use a modified Albright knot and I'll just tie in the, the top section of the line. I'll probably take them down about halfway. Uh, that way if we've got a big fish on that we have to play out um, and it makes a few runs, we'll be good. All right, let's get to it. So we use a lot of salmon row here for fishing steelhead and salmon, and it gets very goopy. So anytime I'm going to re-spool, I take a minute. And give these reels a wipe down and the rod. Okay, so got all the line stripped down. Um, I was just using a Berkeley line stripper. Works great to get your line off of your reels. Um, there are faster ways to pull line off of six rods at one at one time. The problem is, is you know we get hung up, uh, we break off, and the when it's time to respool, it's not the exact amount of line on every one of these reels and so if I just uh, pull a line from all six of them I'm gonna have to wipe it completely out and like I said I want to leave some line on there and I'll just tie in with a modified Albright uh, you could tie in with unity uni if you want but uh, I use the line stripper because then I can eyeball and take off exactly how much line uh, I want to come off of the reel um, so I'm just gonna clean this last one up and then we'll start spooling line All right, guys, so I finally finished getting uh, these all spooled up. They've all got new line. Um, I cleaned as much of the egg 
goop off as I could. I even got uh, three extra spools all spooled up. Those are ready to go. We'll keep those in the boat just in case um, one of them gets spooled or blown up and I've got something to change. So it's time to get these rods back in the boat and we're ready for tomorrow's trip. All spooled up and the rooster's going crazy today. Okay, so we just did a little uh, rod and reel maintenance, got them re-spooled up, got them clean, got the egg goop off, uh, so we're ready for our upcoming trips. That took me two and a half hours. Normally it doesn't take any time at all to re-spool, but when you're fishing with salmon eggs uh, for salmon and steelhead, that egg goop is it's just terrible and you know you got to clean it off and it takes time to clean it off it doesn't come off very easy uh, but if you spend the time you can get your rods and reels clean all right guys until next time thanks for watching